I really forgot how much I hate taking out braids. And it's definitely not easy when you have nails on. <laughs> you would think, like, to be able to dig in these braids, the nails would be nice. But I'm actually having a lot of trouble here. And it's really irritating me. And I'm about three braids in. So, great. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra if you're new here and I'm back today with another video and today I'm going to be taking out my knotless braids. I um, have had these in for two months. I'm one of those girls like I need to at least have my braids in for two months because you're spending way too much money to just be taking them out in two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So I wear them and get the most out of them. I have loved these braids. I actually haven't had braids in three years. Like I haven't had braids since I was in college and I was just missing it and wanting a change up. So I got these knotless braids. I really, really like them. Um, but if you can see, they are just like, look, it's grown out significantly. <laughs> it's like coming out of the braid. It's just, it's time. But I think I got, you know, good use, good, my money's worth out of them. I love the look. I love changing it up. And after this, I'm going to cut off all my hair again and change it up again, just because for three years I've had my short hair and I want something a little different now. So we're going to go back to wigs and stuff like that and pull out some of my ones from college and order some and just like play around a little bit more because I've just been wanting a little change. But right now I am going to take these out and then I'm going to uh, go to the barber and get it all cut. So yeah, I had about like, I don't know if you can tell, but waist length braids. This was my first time with knotless. I've always done um, box braids, Senegalese, crochet. Those are the ones that I've done. But I wanted to show you what I use to take them out. Obviously you need some scissors. So to cut the hair and then I have in this bottle right here apple cider vinegar and water that just helps break down the buildup. Apple cider vinegar is just really good for clarifying the scalp and all that kind of stuff so when you have braids in and you don't wash them as much I think I've washed these about twice since I've had them in maybe three times yeah you just really need to clarify your scalp and just get that build up so you don't have like lint and stuff still stuck in your hair and the last thing that I use is I actually use an anti-dandruff shampoo because Anti-dandruff shampoos are really clarifying and stripping and you've been like putting all this product in your hair but not necessarily washing it out because you don't really wash your hair that much with braids or just like it's not necessarily like it's not going to last as long if you wash it so much um, but also like your scalp has I don't know it's just been in these braids and everything and it gets itchy sometimes and like your scalp isn't just getting the same TLC as it normally would so I just go with the anti-dandruff so I make sure I'm controlling any, you know, scalp irritation or any like dryness and flakiness. I just think it's good. This is one that is popular. Actually, people were using it on their skin to get rid of fine bumps and stuff, but this is just like a stronger medicated one that I like. It's like $15, which I don't think is necessary. You could definitely use just like the good old head and shoulders just as a nice anti-dandruff just to protect your scalp again because it's been in these and it's probably pretty itchy. But that's all that I have. That's what I do. And then I usually deep condition my hair with a deep conditioner, the Mayel one. And um, I like to usually sleep in it and just like uh, have conditioner on my hair for a while. But because I'm just going to cut all my hair off where it's literally going to be that much hair on my head, I don't really see the point. So I'm just going to keep it in for a couple of hours just to make sure like the scalp is getting moisturized and the hair that is going to stay is getting some love. But because I'm going to chop all my hair off, I'm not going to do like a super deep conditioner where I sleep in it and everything like that. So that is how I take out my hair, um, take out my braids. So if you want to see this process in action, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is start to cut all this off. Um, my hair really stops like right there so I could really cut right there but I don't know I love that moment where you just you cut <laughs> like a little bob and you have like a a bob moment you know with the hair so I'm gonna cut it there first let's see ah! oh it's so crazy when you see this happen Thank you. 
I do want a bob wig though, I really do. I've been wanting a bob wig for years and I just feel like mm. a bob wig would give me everything. Like, I need a bob wig, I do. We're gonna get a bob wig, we are. What's your name, B.O.B., so they calling you Bob? Stop playing, nigga, you know that I'm known for the Bob. I broke my nail and it keeps snagging on my hair, but I cut it even shorter and now I just have to take it all out. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I just tried to do this little TikTok thing where you just pull on the hair and the whole braid comes out. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. That's simply not gonna work because it feels like I'm pulling my hair out of my scalp. So we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. So I know that my head's hair is gonna shed a lot because like your hair can't shed when it's in braids. Like it literally just can't. Um, <laughs> and your hair is supposed to shed like a hundred strands a day or more, something like that. So like, yeah, I'm pretty prepared for the fact that a bunch of my hair is gonna come out and like this. And that was just on one thing. But my hair feels really soft and moisturized. That's for sure. But I just go ahead and try to break up. Like when I take it out, I try to just pull out any of those loose strands that would have been shedding if my hair was out and just break up any of that buildup. Like that's at the top. So you see like all that. So I'm back. It took me about three hours to do, take all this out and everything. I don't know. It just, it took some time. Um, if you're faster at this, please tell me a trick. I don't know, but I'm back. I had to go run some errands. So I put this little headband on. Um, but yes, yeah, so now I'm just going to detangle. I have my detangling comb. I'm going to take this apple cider vinegar. I tried to break down, build up, and detangle with my hands as I was taking it out. But I just like to spray this on my scalp because it's also very clarifying and it just like can really just remove any build up that you have on your scalp. So I just go ahead and do this and just detangle with this. I want to condition my hair and make sure it's all healthy and I'm still going to do that, but I'm still going to cut all my hair off to 
my normal short look so it's like it's no need for me to do too much I just really need to get it detangled and washed and clean so I can get it cut so yeah I'm gonna move on to detangling So I finished detangling and this is how much hair I, I got out, like this is how much shedding I had. I feel like for two months, this isn't that bad. Like this is really not that bad for two months. Um, but yeah, so now I have this big afro and uh, yeah, not, not the move, not the move. I also have like spray all over my shirt so I look a mess. I'm about to go wash my hair so I'm gonna use you know the anti-dandruff shampoo and everything um, to make sure I get all of the buildup out because that's very clarifying and just not have an itchy scalp after having braids in and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can see in the shedding hair like all the lint buildup and um, you know dandruff build up it just happens it's natural um so i'm just going to make sure i get my hair really clean and all that out and detangle it again in the shower just so it's you know we get all the shedding out and there's not any knots or anything like that so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna put a deep conditioner on there i'll leave that deep conditioner on there for an hour or so and then i'm just gonna wash my hair out and put some cream in it and then tomorrow I'm gonna get it cut so I will be back or after I go and get it cut so hey everyone so I just wanted to pop back on here and let y'all know I did end up going to the barbershop and cutting my hair I'm so happy I feel like myself again I love my short hair I just yes I'm so glad I just decided to you know go ahead and chop it back off like I had it before I grew it out for braids but yeah so this is the update after taking out my knotless braids I hope you all enjoyed this video if you do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video